This is Avery Giovanni. You are now tuned in to a Spirit of Detroit production. Subscribe now. Love y'all. You tube. Sometimes I ask myself, you know, I ask myself questions and stuff, and I, I, I take away, you know, take away questions, and that's how I, how I come up with these little, um, these videos for y'all to enjoy. And I ask myself, do they know who I don't like? I mean, in the draft, do they know who I don't like? And I think y'all know about the Kyle Hamilton. And, you know, you know about these players. But there's some players I just don't like in the draft. And I don't want us drafting. Now, that doesn't mean I think they're going to be terrible players or whatever. That doesn't mean that. That just means... That just means... That I don't want them. Okay. So. I'm going to let y'all know. Five potential draft picks. The Lions should avoid. My first one. Matter of fact. I'm going to put this as honorable mention. This, this, these are honorable mentions. That obviously I've spoken about. I'm just going to get to the content today. Kayvon Thibodeau. I don't care how athletic you are. I don't care what the pundits say. The film comes across. You come across as lazy. UCLA game. Um, the fucking Mountain West before the playoff game. You're injury prone. Dealt with injuries all the time. I just don't see it. I just don't see it out of Oregon right now. I'm good, bro. Uh, I spoke about it before. I don't have to retalk it but obviously I, I put a id card or something i made a video about this shit before so one player i do not want at all honorable mention kyle hamilton <laughs> let's just keep it a but i don't think i don't think that's a surprise so now that we got the obvious out the way let's get to the five players that i don't want so the five players that I do not want in the NFL draft. I'm number five. Garrett Wilson, Ohio State. Garrett Wilson is interesting because he is an Emmanuel Sanders S type of player. And what I mean by that is he's not really that fast, but he is a pure route runner. He is a pure stutter step. He's he he's a technician. Okay. I like his game. I just don't like him. When it comes down to it, I'm not looking for another technician. I'm not looking for a Emmanuel Sanders in this draft. I'm not looking for that. I'm not interested. It's not. It's, it's, so if he falls to 32, I'm not picking him. I really, I'm really not picking him because I, I have no time for these possession receivers. I need big receivers. We need big receivers in Detroit. We just had our tallest receiver was like six two, and then our when we got Cordero Hodge and he was like six five, but he wasn't nothing. We need big receivers. We need commanding, fast receivers. I want all the physical traits. And we have a receiver that can do the intermediate routes and do all that stuff. We have on my bra St. Brown. And Garrett Wilson has good tape. I'm not even hating. I'm just saying, like, me personally at the receiver position, there's so many guys with great production. There's so many guys that are tall, fast, offer me so much more. Garrett Wilson just doesn't do it for me. Number four, Ahmad Gardner. Cincinnati. Ahmad Garner's cold. He is cold. But one thing I know and one thing I... Corner is not that serious, bro. It is not that serious right now. It is not. I am not interested in any corners right now. I'm just not. And it's cool, but still... 
mean, it's cool, but still, it doesn't help. It doesn't help me. It doesn't help nobody here. <sighs> we drafted a corner before, and we still, the verdict is still out. The verdict is still out. <laughs> you know, it's a fact. The verdict. <laughs> we still waiting on him to be great. And it's not bad. It's just like a corner. At this, uh, no, I got time. My third player who I do not want in the NFL draft. And y'all think it's going to be okay. I know what y'all think it's going to be. But what it is, is is different. I don't want Logan Hall. I don't. I know Logan Hall is probably for y'all, most of y'all, University of Houston. He's 6'6". Six, six. He's a DN. He's, you know, he has, what, six sacks, seven sacks last year. He was, he's pretty much a second round pick, mid-second. So if you don't get Hutchinson, people kind of fall back and they like, oh yeah, Logan Hall, because he has the same measurables and he has similar, you know, he has similar stats in terms of the tackles and stuff. Like he has similar traits. So he's more like, when they talk about Logan Hall, they say, get Kyle Hamilton first, <laughs> you know? Um, he has a lot of strengths. He has a lot of measurables. He's damn near 6'7", 275. You know, he's, but he's average athletically. You know, I don't see the, I don't see the use of hands. He played at fucking Houston. Uh, I, I just don't see it. But when people talk about this dude, they usually talk about him in a light of, oh, snap, you know, we could get this guy instead of, and I, that, you know, I'm not, I'm not the one. So, Logan Hall, do your research on him. He's very good. He's a good player. You know, 38 solo tackles, 16 tackles, but if you do get Aiden Hutchinson, you can get Logan Hall. It's kind of like here or there with me because... But just getting Logan Hall, that, that doesn't solve anything to me. To me, that doesn't solve shit. Um, oh, my third player that I do not want. And you know, I've seen this player mock to us and I know people love him and you know, I know, I know what it is. Is, you know, y'all see a name and y'all just run with it. Lewis Sign. Lewis Sign to me is an average safety. I don't see the, I don't see what y'all see. I've seen him mocked in mock drafts to us as like this, you know, quintessential, you know, stopgap safety or future safety. He offers you the same game Tracy Walker does. You get Lewis Sign if you if you let Tracy Walker walk. It's the same thing. He's not great in coverage. You know, he's not consistently winning. He had one interception last year. We He had, what, nine pass defensed. 6-1. They say he does zone coverage well. I don't believe that. A lot of people have him in mock drafts. We, we're, taking, uh, we're taking him at 34. And for me now, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. His great size, great speed. He was a leader on the Georgia defense. You know, good instincts, anticipation. But when we really look at his game, he's inconsistent in getting off blocks. He's good at coming downhill, but when he gets wrapped up, it's a wrap. And he's out of position more than likely. More than likely in coverage. He's always out of position. Um... His footwork is choppy. His game is a little over aggressive. He gets missed tackles, penalties, um, has sloppy coverage. He is Tracy Walker. That's what he is. And I'm not gonna over talk it. I just know that's what Lewis Sign is. And you know, he'll go to a team and he'll be a cover two deep safety and he'll give you everything you need. I guess <laughs> from a Tracy Walker perspective. 
But the player I do not want the most. I think I did four. Uh, yeah, that's four. I do not want Calvin Austin Jr. The wide receiver. Out of Memphis. I don't want him. He's listed. I've seen this man listed at... I've seen him listed as as low as or as high as five six or five five, and I've seen five nine. So I don't know what to believe with him. I've seen five nine, and I've seen five six. They're saying he's a third round pick. I'm gonna do a video on the speed. Uh, he offers you great speed. That's what he does. He is great speed. You know, Garrett Wilson offers you that possession receiver. Olave offers you the same thing that St. Brown offers you. But this dude has tremendous speed. And that's all people talk about. They don't talk about the drop passes. They don't talk about the um, the, the route running. I mean, I, I, I don't talk about route running. But what I'm saying is, yeah, he had 63 receptions in 2020. He had 1,000 yards. He played at Memphis. Calm down. But we've seen this in the past with um, uh, Demps from the... We've seen this in the past. Uh, Tavon Austin, Demps, uh, the dude from the Steelers, where these small guys with adequate, more than adequate speed, amazing trailblazing speed aren't good. We've seen this, and I'm, I'm not going to replay it with my team. Um, I know the Lions are going to like this dude. Lions are going to like every player I just mentioned. Logan Hall, Fine, this dude. Calvin Austin uh, Jr. was actually coached on the Senior Bowl, and he was taken to coaching. He was, you know, they was really fucking with him. They really like him. But for me, you know, I'm not sold on that tiny shit, that tiny player shit. 5'9", 162 pounds. Dudes can knock him off his fucking route. It's, it's just pathetic. It's like he lacks the ideal size and strength. He's a tiny target. We've seen this with Tutu Atwell. We've seen this so many times before where there's this little gadget player who runs a 4-2 who's probably the fastest individual in the draft, and they don't work out. And I just don't want to take a chance in the third round where I can get an Alec Pierce or I can get a potential starter that can help my team, a George Pickens in the second and I can get a big receiver with speed. You know, no one's running a 4-2. You know, he's he's running tracks. But this ain't the Olympics. It's football. Okay? Yes, he had eight TDs last year. Yes, he had, uh, what, 74 receptions. Yes, he had 1,149 yards. And when you compare him to a player like Sky Moore, he does more in the route running game than Sky Moore does. But people with this speed... People with this adequate or above, I'm going to just call this trailblazing speed. People with this trailblazing speed don't particularly do well. You know, we've seen it, the dude with the Saints. If speed mattered, he would be an all pro. Like, I covet speed and I covet size. But at the same time, I also covet things like, hey, production. Now, his production's there. The size is it, the speed is, but I just don't want to take a chance on this guy. You know, 74 catches, 11.45, 8 TDs. In the ACC, I got to see more, bro. I really do. I got to see you. And it's it's hard to say this, you know. Um, And I'm going to put a disclaimer out there, y'all. You know, I'll put a disclaimer out there. YouTubers don't do videos like this because these players might go on to be winners, you know, huge winners. And I hope they do, you know, I hope they do. I just don't want them because they all have these flaws that I just don't see. Like they don't flash on tape to me. They don't dominate. And um, you can watch the highlights, but the tape costs, you can get the NCAA tape for like $50 right now. And y'all can see what the hell I'm talking about. But right? Those are my five players that I just don't want, you know? I just don't want them. I don't particularly think they're good. 
for the Detroit Lions. They might be good on other teams, but I just don't think they're good for us. And if they if they are, you know, I'll come out and say it. You know, if they become superstars, I'll come out and say, you know, hey, I was wrong. Just like I did with Amon St. Brown, and, and that was it. <laughs> so, you know, that's my piece. Like, comment, subscribe for more thought-provoking content like this. More videos coming soon. Obviously, Let's Play GM comes out tomorrow. We're going to do it big. We're going to do it big. Uh, shout out to the team, man. Shout out to the Spirit of Detroit. Love y'all.